And this is a Class D event in a Class D airspace, which fundamentally means that I can't even take it off the ground um, uh, without an FAA certificate that we actually have programmed into the drone itself to allow it to operate. Um, in order to get all of the certifications to complete it, we really did have to uh, go through multiple independent certifications with the FAA, multiple with the DHS. We had to notify the FBI and gain their clearance and a bunch of other legal and regulatory entities. And then furthermore, we have uh, this drone was actually developed, drone technology was developed in our DXC labs in Australia. And so we actually brought a couple of uh, employees over to actually drive it. And they came over and gained their own FAA uh, certifications after a 13-hour flight from Sydney, right, to LA where they got their certification then in for the week of testing. The drone can probably get to a potential fire uh, a lot faster than a fire truck can. And the important thing with a high false alarm rate, as we know, is actually saving, you know, uh, decreasing the false alarm rate allows the, the, fire, uh, the f uh, firefighters to actually respond more consistently. But furthermore, uh, if I can actually determine whether I need one truck or three trucks, just by the amount of fire in the overhead, right, it becomes great. So uh, natural disaster, um, you know, fires and uh, police crimes. Uh, public safety, an another huge one. Can I get to the point of a wreck where two cars have actually collided with one another and uh, take a 3D scan of the entire wreck scene and move those, move those cars out of traffic faster? What's fun about doing this kind of a race is, is not to show that we can <coughs> deliver a green flag. It's to, it's to open people's minds to the kinds of use cases that can be affected by using these kinds of very, very inexpensive, inexpensive relatively, but inexpensive technologies to change what used to be very difficult jobs. We're a, a global uh, player in IT services, which means we uh, build and run uh, infrastructure for a lot of the world's uh, largest enterprises in areas like travel and transportation, uh, healthcare, insurance, retail. Um, so if you bought a plane ticket, if you shipped a package, if you filed an, uh, an insurance claim, uh, chances are it's been through uh, one of our systems. What we do as a company is fundamentally use technology to improve performance. And so this linkage between technology and performance has made uh, IndyCar a very natural sponsorship for us. Um, you know, we're associated with uh, the number 22 uh, of Simon Pagano and, and Team Penske. Um, and the fact that, uh, as Eddie mentioned, we have a significant employee base here in uh, the, the DFW area uh, makes this particular race uh, a good one for us to become the title sponsor for.